Nobody is talking about this band, and honestly, I am here to rectify that. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaya. Today we're going to be talking about a band that literally nobody is talking about. Uh, all I've seen on YouTube in regards to this album we're about to discuss today is from like one reactor and then one YouTuber who reviewed it and it got like 50 views. So I feel like personally this band needs way more attention and so I'm going to tell you about them today and that is Peeling Flesh and their brand new debut album The G Code. This is a slam BDM hardcore band from OKC Oklahoma. I've talked about this band several times over the last few years. They just started in 2021 and this is their first full length album. So everything that I've mentioned mostly in my Metal Monthly series have been like either new EPs or new demos but this is their first full length album. Now when I went Went to go and see them live it was such a great experience it was a really great mix of BDM slam and these hip-hop samples and elements so they used a lot of uh, rap vocals and hip-hop kind of program drums and all of those things so um, it was a really great mix of different things so this is their first full-length album like I said it's called the G code and this album is honestly such an interesting listening experience if you are somebody that is really into old school hip-hop and rap groups like Tribe Called Quest um, Outcast is definitely up there you could even put like brand Nubian or Dazzy FX like if you're really into that style of hip-hop and you're looking to get into metal so if you're looking to either branch out experience metal for the first time or maybe the you know heavier version of metal slam BDM is kind of a heavier more aggressive style of metal I'm not an expert but this band Peeling Flesh absolutely takes uh, the best elements of like old school hip hop samples and mixes it with slam BDM. So they remind me a lot of Jarhead Fertilizer, which is also like a Maryland based grindcore band. I saw them recently live. I also think if you've listened to Stabbing, which is a, another really great BDM band, also has a chick singer, Bridget, who's really nice in person and also has some really killer vocals live I've got a concert vlog of that whole show too you can see if you're a fan of stabbing or jarhead fertilizer peeling flesh is right up your alley so this album is a relatively short record and um, I mean it comes in at 26 minutes so it's a really quick listening experience which is what you would expect with like slam BDM um, but it's short and sweet it doesn't overstay its welcome and it's honestly such a fun record to listen to um, each track features, of course, the uh, BDM kind of growls, <laughs> these kind of like ribbity growls that you would expect with uh, BDM, but then also like the there's like a bunch of like that classic slam beats and some blast beat sections, but the use of hip hop samples and vocals and drum tracks and everything that's like interlaced with this record it is such an amazing balance it is just balanced perfectly well and it's not too much of one thing and you don't expect it either you're like okay yeah this is like a you know bdm song and then it just comes in with this little track <laughs> this little like vocal sample or these like you know drum tracks that program drum tracks that just come in as like a layering piece so it really gives it this underground hip hop, like living on this, you know, streets and doing that whole thing mixed with like the underground metal scene. So it's, it's a really interesting vibe and such a fun listening experience. And one of my favorite parts about this record is the end title track, which there's a voice that says, you know, back when I was young, I had seen some cheese on a board. This is actually taken from a quote, deleted scene, unquote, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, I don't know for a fact if it's a real scene from that show, but I did find, um, <laughs> I did find it on Facebook. 
And uh, a lot of people were laughing at it and stuff, but basically it's just this interaction between these, you know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the dialogue is really funny. And so the scene that they took from that is just like (laughs) this Fox character that's basically relating like, you know, you know, promiscuous women, let's say. I'm not going to call them the H word, but they're promiscuous women to a cheese board, essentially. Um, And it's a really funny scene, and they use that in this album. And so I just found that really funny, the use of different vocals and dialogue. Um, It's very dynamic, and it makes it, like I said, such a fun listening experience. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Some other features on this album include Cerebral Incubation, which is another slam BDM band. Um, which Peeling Flesh is similar to in sound. I personally never listened to Cerebral Incubation, but um, if they're like Peeling Flesh, then I'm sure I would like them. But there's also the title track, which features Despised Icon, which is a deathcore band from Quebec. Such a solid track. It reminds me a lot of southern playlistic cadillac music by outcast which if you have not heard that album and you are into hip-hop or want to you know branch out into that kind of thing you should honestly check out um some outcast records i've seen outcast live and they're amazing they're amazing amazing and um southern playlistic cadillac music is one of my favorite records from them so if you're really into that record you would you would like you would like this record from Peeling Flesh. I mean, it just captures everything that is, you know, the fun, entertaining samples and just like the dialogue and everything. It's such a fun record and the breakdowns are nasty. The production on this album is really, really, really good. Like when I saw them live, like I said, they had uh, the use of hip hop samples within their stage performance. So it's like when they were transitioning songs, they were using, um, you know, hip hop songs and beats and stuff like that to kind of fill the empty space while they uh, prepared and took a mini break or whatever on stage. And so um, I didn't know what to really expect with this album, but it gave me everything that I had seen with Peeling Flesh on stage. It was literally their live sound put into this record, um, which I just thought was really, really cool because I thought maybe for their first record, they might do more of just like a straightforward BDM slam album, but no, they incorporated all of those elements. So it was very, very fun. Creeping Out the Cut features Liturgy, which I'm not totally familiar with liturgy, so some of these features were new to me, but Creeping Out the Cut is such a banger. The hook is a bop. Creeping out the cut, creeping out the what? Creeping out, it's mm, it's so catchy. It's, it's fire. <laughs> it's honestly fire. So I really applaud uh, Peeling Flesh on this record. I mean, honestly, they did such a great job and for it being their debut record, it sounds great. Like I said, the production is really good. This is with Unique Leader Records, which also has a really good track record um, for releases. But I just love the experimentation on this record. I love that it doesn't take itself too seriously and it's overall just a fun, quick, short and sweet hanger of a listening experience let me know down below in the comments if you have heard this record um, and what your thoughts were on this um, like i said it's slam bdm mixed with hip-hop they're kind of considered hardcore um, so it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea like i know it's not going to because i know some people are just one not into that like old school hip-hop sound but then i also know slam and bdm are kind of particular um, but if you are looking for a fresh new young band uh, to kind of give you that fix. You're into stabbing, you're into Jarhead Fertilizer, you've listened to Disturbed, uh, you maybe have been into Outcast or A Tribe Called Quest. Peeling Flesh is absolutely a refreshing young band. I mean, they have been together since like 2021. That's like when they released their first demos and this is their first record. So I'm really excited to see where Peeling Flesh go, especially because they don't (laughs) live very far from me. And I definitely am going to look to see when they play next because I want to hear these songs live. Um, They're just a, they're a really 
exciting band in the scene and I want more people to know about it. So um, congratulations, Peeling Flesh, for your debut album. I hope it's is working out for you. Please go and support Peeling Flesh. I'll have a link down below where you can go and check out the record, maybe purchase it if you like it or, you know, merch or whatever. So um, go support this band. Go listen to it. Stream it if you want to. See if it's for you. It is called The G Code. So I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, you guys.